Hi, everyone. Welcome to the EOPS Spring 2023 Orientation, New Student Orientation. I'm going to share screen with you right now so you guys have an idea of where we are going with this. Um, so let me just share um, and start presenting. Um, so here we go. Again, here I am in the corner. Welcome to the spring 2023 orientation. And I'm Ms. Perez, your e an EOPS counselor and EOPS coordinator. So let me first talk about EOPS. EOPS is a state funded program. Um, it is it was established to help non-traditional students who come from low income underrepresented backgrounds achieve a higher education or pursue a higher education. So EOPS is state funded and we are here to mobilize and help people get an education. CARE stands for Cooperative Agencies, Resources and Education, and it is a direct program under EOPS. CARE serves single parents who are on cash aid and CalWORKs um, get a higher education as well. So we serve students, CARE serves students who are on cash aid um, and who have, student, who have children under the ages of 18. Um, the next slide, we talk a little about a little bit of the history of EOPS. EOPS originated in 1969. It's 54 years old, and we are celebrating, again, our 54th year of student equity and success. EOPS came out of the civil rights movement. We came out of the idea of we need to increase social and economic mobility amongst marginalized population. EOPS is written into Senate uh, Article Bill 164, Title V. And that means that we are protected under the state of California. There are 116 community college campuses um, in the state of California. In each one of those camp campuses has an EOPS program. So what does EOPS offer? We offer many services. We offer EOPS scholarships. We offer transfer and career workshops. We offer a textbook loan program. We offer a summer academy for our summer students that are um, high school students are that are transitioning into college. We offer meal support. We offer a uh, gift card every month for students to help supplement their uh, meals and anemones. We also offer um, for spring 2023, a $400 um, textbook grant um, we also offer transportation support, as in bus passes and gas cards. When you graduate from EOPS, we offer a cap and gown for free. Um, we also offer CSU UC fee waivers. So the admissions uh, waiver is uh, the, the admissions application fee is waived. We also offer field trips and um, priority registration. So priority registration is for when you are registering for classes um, at the first tier before anyone else. Um, we also offer um, a one, uh, like for if you are planning to apply for a private school, um, we offer one waiver to take care of your application fee. So those are some of our service. Oh, oh and then the last thing is we offer laptop loaner programs. If you have any questions about our services, please give our office a call or email us at eops at contracosta.edu so that we can help you in making sure that we provide comprehensive services to get you through your educational journey. CARE, Cooperative Agencies, Resources, and Education offers more grants for students that attend the CARE workshops, supplies um, as in backpacks and more um, like, you know, of course, things that you need like flash drives or um, I, I'm not even sure exactly what they have, but they have a lot of different supplies for um, CARE students. They also, also offer gas cards and bus passes. There's a CARE retreat that occurs once an act once in the academic year where they provide child care and they treat single parents to a day of relaxation and empowerment we also offer transportation assistance for care students and care students are able to get a thousand dollars of car repair meaning if your brakes go out you need new tires 
um, you need a new battery. So we work with vendors to help you to pay for car repair. So there's a lot of different things that CARE offers. CARE is coordinated by Chow Tran, and I'm going to get to her um, contact information in just one second. Um, EOPS operates um, like a family. So um, in charge of the family or however, you know, in our hierarchy, we have George Mills, who is a former EOPS a manager. He is now the Dean of Student Services. Charles Ramirez um, is our latest addition to the EOPS family. He is our new EOPS Care and CalWORKs manager. Um, below that, Charles is Chow Tran. Chow is the care coordinator. Um, so you can reach Chow at C Tran, T R A N, at contracosta.edu. Chow also does the eligibility of A through L of our EOPS alphabet. And then next to um, Chow is Sarn Sefarn. He does M through Z, and they make sure that we are eligible in the state of California based on all the eligibility requirements in our program. We also have an outreach and administrative support team. So Leticia Mendoza is our outreach coordinator. She is the person that goes out and recruits students for us and keeps EOPS um, on the main stage on campus. Um, below Leticia is Ms. Cookie, she's an administrative assistant. She handles all of our scheduling. She make, take, make sure that things are moving in our office. Next to, um, on the right, is Shannon Hussey and Cecilia Alvarez, who are our um, front office desk support. And they help us make sure that schedules, their scheduling and students' um, needs are met. They answer phones and they do a lot of our reception at the EOPS office. One of the main components of EOPS is making sure that you meet with a counselor. We have nine EOPS counselors that are part of our staff. The counselors that you're working with are caring, compassionate, and um, comprehensive. We want to make sure that you get the best educational plan that we can possibly um, work with considering your unique your unique needs. So um, you'll see myself at the top. I'm the EOPS counselor coordinator. To the right is Janelle, Jeanette McClendon, who is an EOPS counselor. She's with us on Fridays. She also works at Napa Valley College. She's amazing. There's Julie Scholar. She is um, also an EOPS counselor. She has her master's from St. Mary's. She is Spanish speaking, and she does a lot of our scholarship um, uh, fundraising and advocacy for students. So we're really lucky to have her on staff. Next to Julie is Samaya Yazdan Pandan, who is our Care Cal Works EOPS counselor, super caring um, faculty member and counselor, and she's been with us for a long time. Samaya also speaks Farsi. Below Samaya is Natasha Lockett, and she is our EOPS counselor extraordinaire, very patient, very good, graduate of San Francisco State, and she is. Um, an EOP, she was an EOPS student at one time, like myself. Um, beside her to the right is Andrea Phillips. She is our transfer coordinator, but she also does hours with EOPS. And so she makes sure that many of our students are preparing to transfer. Um, all of us do transfer. However, Ms. Phillips, um, works on the intricacies of transfer, um, like uh, applications and other um, making sure that students are going on transfer field trips. She also does a significant amount of work um, and coordinates all the historic black college tours, get on the plane and really promotes HBCUs. The next um, slide is uh, four other counselors that work in our program, which is Diebedi Heron Nordine, who is a graduate of Contra Costa College, who is now a counselor with us and she is amazing. Diebany does the peer mentorship program. So she coordinates our peer mentors and makes sure that students are connected with a peer mentor in their first semester. 
We also have Janet Munez, who speaks Spanish. She also is our EOPS counselor, but she does a significant amount of outreach outside of EOPS. We also have Jessica Lopez, who's Spanish speaking, um, and she has expertise in athletics, but she does transfer and everything else. And she's also a general counselor, um, but loves the EOPS population. And below um, Jessica is Lorena Gonzalez. Um, she is our counseling co-department chair. She's Spanish speaking, and she teaches La Raza Studies courses. So we have a pretty robust, knowledgeable, caring, compassionate staff, and we're just grateful um, to be able to help and serve you guys. So at this part of the presentation, I want to talk a little bit about what you're going to hear of the EOPS mutual responsibility contract. The mutual responsibility contract is our commitment to you and your commitment to us. So it's a contract that talks about and outlines the requirements of our program and how our program works. So I'm gonna start here right now and talk about our five requirements. Again, there are five core requirements. First, you must meet with a counselor three times per semester. So your appointments must be at least 15 business days apart or 21 days apart. You must have 12 units your first semester in the program. If you're a DSPS student, meaning you're in the Disabled Students Programs and Services Program, you can reduce the number of units you're taking with a unit waiver. So we want to make sure that we're in communication with DSPS regarding your specific needs. If you are not an EOPS, you must have 12 units your first semester nine units every semester thereafter you're in the program. And if you choose to come in the summertime, you must take three or more units to be eligible for our book grant. When you attend in the summer, you must meet with a counselor at least one time. The third expectation is you must complete an academic progress report by the due date. I'll talk about that in the next couple slides. The fourth requirement is that you must do priority registration. You must register for your classes early. Like for example, in the fall, for fall classes, you'll be registering late April. In the spring, you'll be registering in mid-November. And for the summer, you'll be registering in early April. You must maintain a 2.0 GPA to be to remain eligible in our program, meaning you must have a C average each semester you're in our program to, to maintain eligibility. So first, let me talk a little bit about the EOPS counseling appointments. So your first appointment should be in the month of either January or February. This for new students is an hour appointment. We wanna get to know you. We want to make sure that we know your educational goal and what you want to do. We help to plan a four to six semester educational plan. Typically, you should be scheduling this meeting between January 9th and February 24th. Your second appointment should be during the month of March. And so the scheduling timeline is from February 27th through March 24th. During this time, we'll be discussing your academic progress, I'm getting to know you a little bit more and making sure that your classes are going okay. Typically this appointment is one half hour, but if you did not meet for a half an hour in your first appointment, then in your second appointment, we'll meet with you for an entire hour. The goal of this is to get to know you and your unique um, uh, experiences and your goals so that we can um, create an educational plan specifically to um, fulfill your academic goal. In the last appointment, which is in April or May, you will be doing, oops, um, you will be uh, participating, you will be preparing for priority registration. I'm sorry, this slide is off. During priority registration, you'll, we will be preparing you to register for classes for the next semester. So that's a time to discuss the, the semester, modify your educational plan, let us know what's going on in either the winter break or in the summertime. So we wanna make sure that we're staying up to date with you. Um, the timeline for this appointment is you must complete these three appointments by May 12th, because that's when we um, wanna make sure that you've done everything that you've needed to do because the semester is ending. So how do you make these appointments? Wait, 
One last thing, these appointments, again, we wanna remind you, must be at least 15 business days apart or 21 days apart. So we're not counting the weekends. So how do you make your EOPS appointment? The first thing that you need to do is call our office at 510-215-3949 or 510-215-3902. We have people who are at the desk Monday through Thursday from 9 to 4.30. You can also email our office at eops.contracosta.edu, or you can schedule an appointment online, and I'll get to that at the end of this session. I talked about an EOPS progress report. So we do a progress report. We alert you the fourth week of the semester. So our progress report will be coming out on Tuesday, February 21st. During this time, we ask that you arrange to meet with your instructor for online or in-person office hours. We wanna make sure that you fill out your progress report and you let us know honestly how you are doing. A lot of students are like, oh God, you know, what happens if I'm not doing great in my classes? You know, I'm, I'm scared. Please make sure you fill out your academic progress report so that we can help you get through this semester. A link is sent to you through your Insight Portal email um, for the progress report. And when you complete it, either with or without your instructor, they are able to complete their portion. Once that's done, we track the submissions um, and we wanna make sure that you, where everyone's on the same page. If you're getting a grade below a C minus, um, then, or your instructor indicates that you're not doing so well in the class, maybe having low test scores, excessive absences, um, um, low participation points, then we are wanna make sure that we contact you and do an academic intervention before um, the actual drop date of the semester. We ask that you complete your academic progress before, before May 22nd at 11.59 p.m. If you have more questions about that, we send out a detailed email on February 21st, just to make sure that you understand what the um, process entails. The um, fourth thing that I talked about was priority registration. Priority registration for the summer is April 3rd and for the fall is April 24th through the 26th. It says the 25th on there, but it's the 26th. You will be receiving an email through Insight email notifying of your registration time and date. When that happens, for example, it may say, um, Dion Perez, your, your priority registration is at 9 a.m. on April 24th. I have until 11.59 of that evening to register for classes for the fall of 2023. So we want to make sure that that is done within that time frame. This is a really great service for students who have uh, majors that are impacted, for example, business, nursing, psychology, um, some of the chemistry classes and math classes. So we highly recommend, we want you to, to really utilize priority registration. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about textbooks um, for the spring of 2023. Our textbooks, after you complete this new student orientation, we will send you an email within 24 to 48 hours, that does not include weekends, um, stating that you are approved for the spring 2023. When that happens, it triggers an email to the bookstore, letting them know that you're an EOPS student and that you are eligible for books. We ask that you, you purchase your books through our online bookstore. It's similar to um, purchasing things on Amazon. So I'm gonna go through that in the next slide. Your, your Our textbook book voucher is for textbook purchases, for mandatory textbooks and textbook rentals and online access codes. I want to say that is it for mandatory textbooks, book rentals and access codes. If you pick your books up at the bookstore, you must provide a photo ID and your student ID and have your printed class schedule or your class schedule on your phone. So let me talk about how we go through the book 
paying for book process. And there's another video on this that's shorter, but I'm just gonna kind of go through it quickly. So I'm going to the bookstore right now. I'm gonna click buy textbooks and I see buy it. I'm gonna click Contra Costa College. I'm gonna click AFRAM, it's a class I'd love to take, 110. And I'm gonna click it with Craig Chardon. I'm gonna add this textbook to my uh, my cart. And there you go, there is my textbook. I'm gonna get a used copy. I'm gonna purchase. So as I um, add textbooks to the cart, which is at the top, I'm able to see exactly what's in my cart. I'm gonna click purchase here and you'll see the textbooks that I've purchased. I'm gonna click check out. And then they're gonna ask me for shipping information. If you choose to ship, you must pay shipping fees, but if you choose to pick up, it's free. So in my case, I'm gonna to go to in-store pickup, continue to payment. I see my total here. I'm gonna click here where it says EOPS. They're gonna ask me my student ID number. I'm gonna put that in, and then they're gonna pay for the amount of the books. So hopefully that will help you when you plan to register, I meant to purchase your books at the bookstore. So I have a couple tidbits on the actual process and what you need to know. A lot of students will register late or they don't have the textbook. So here's some um, recommendations. You can buy your textbooks at the CC bookstore and get reimbursed. You must keep your receipt. We will reimburse you. You can ask your instructor if they have a PDF of the assigned reading. They often do, and they will email it to you. You can ask ELPS about our ELPS book loan program. Sometimes students return books that they um, used in, in a previous semester, and those instructors are still using the books, so we're able to loan those out. And there's also another option. You can call or email the library to see if the book is on reserve. If it is, you can scan the pages needed and email them to yourself, and that way you can hold yourself for the first couple weeks of the semester. Again, I want to reiterate that March 3rd is the last day to purchase your textbooks at the CCC bookstore. If you have a receipt, make sure you get in there before March 3rd. Here's a couple other tidbits. What if you have a class code? A lot of faculty are going to put the actual access code in their Canvas shell. We ask that you go directly to our bookstore to purchase the access code. When you do this, it triggers the access code through the bookstore. If you do it through Canvas, we are um, it, it's harder for us to reimburse you. So we want to make sure that you actually go make sure the transaction is through our online Contra Costa bookstore. Please use the shopping cart. Here's another tidbit. If you are taking classes at DVC or LMC, which are our sister campuses, please go to our CCC bookstore and email them. Let them know your name, your student ID, the class that you're taking at DVC or LMC, and the, make sure you state the course and the section number. Once you do that, then we will trigger the um, email to you stating what you need to do. DVC will, or LMC will send those textbooks to the CCC bookstore. And, they, and then CCC will pay for them. One last thing, um, we do have what they call a Counseling 120 class. This is called Managing College Success and Life Transitions. So if you are trying to figure out how to be a college student or you don't understand how to navigate college, this is a wonderful class to take. It is taught by our very own Natasha Lockett. Um, we go over time management, procrastination, resources and re referrals, goal setting, stress, critical thinking, and several other topics that help you to become a more confident student. 
Just a couple things. We have a chat room that operates from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Monday through Thursday. That's not 10, 10 p.m. to 12, p, 12 a.m. midnight, but 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. So we want to make sure that students utilize the chat room. Also, we also want to remind you to check Insight Portal daily. Um, it's our point of contact for EOPS. We also say if you have any questions, you can always call our office at 510-215-3949 or 510-215-3902. You can also check our EOPS uh, website for updates. So what happens next? We, give, we share a link with you um, and our office, will our scheduling team will come in and schedule an appointment with you. You should hear with, from us within 48 to um, 24 to 48 hours. I have one last thing. Um, if you're unsure of what's going on with EOPS, you can always enroll in our EOPS Canvas shell. Um, and I will go over that with you, but let me come back to this slide. You can access the Canvas shell through the EOPS website. So if you want to enroll, you can here. Um, and that was very quick. And I'm just going to go on quickly and show you exactly what is in it entails. Um, let me make sure that I get this. Um, This is our EOPS Canvas shell. Um, and again, this provides all the information you would need to know to be part of EOPS. So here's our student orientation with all the links and everything that we went over today. With that said, I think that's the end of the presentation. Um, welcome to EOPS. Um, and we are happy to have you and welcome to our family, our team, and um, we hope that this is a successful semester for you. So um, with that, have a great semester. <laughs>